<laughs> this is it, you guys. Hey guys, it's been super long and I have so many excuses, but I don't want to bore you with all of my excuses. Um, maybe I'll do it in a separate video, like about excuses. Nah, let's get on to what I want to talk to you about today. That's the capture clip from Peak Design. Uh, before we begin, I just want to mention that this video is not sponsored in any way. Uh, however, I am a big fan of Peak Design, their bags, many of their products. I'm a big fan of their uh, sustainable vision for being a more sustainable company. It's just, oh, that's exciting. I mean, if you are new to this channel, this channel is about like photography, videography gear. Uh, I do premiere tutorials, stuff like that. If you like uh, videos like that, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Thanks. So the capture clip, like what is this thing? Well, basically it consists of two parts. Like first part being the base plate for the camera. Uh, the second part being uh, the mounting bracket that you mount onto different kinds of stuff. Once you've attached these two together, like you can mount this to all kinds of weird things like your shoulder strap, your uh, the external part of your bag, like the your belt, your girlfriend's belt. Hey! Aha! Like all kinds of places. I've had this capture clip for the past like 18 months or so and I use it almost every time I leave the house with my backpack and my camera uh, since uh, I just simply attach it to the strap and then once I'm out and about with my camera I can easily uh, slap the camera onto the capture clip and then I have my hands uh, free to do other stuff. The cool thing about using the capture clip is other than freeing your hands, uh, you're not tucking your camera away inside the bag. Like you're keeping your camera just on the shoulder strap. That means you're not missing shots because your camera is literally right on your shoulder strap. But if you're like me and you're shooting on a DSLR like the AD that I'm shooting on right now, uh, there are a few drawbacks. Like the camera is huge to have mounted on your shoulder strap and even bigger when it's on your waist, like on your belt. Um, if you're, for instance, shooting with a massive lens like the 200, 70-200 lens, uh, you can, of course, you can mount it to your straps, you can mount it to your, your belt, that's fine. But it's just, it feels massive. One thing is that it feels massive when you're walking around. It's also massive because people just keep staring when I have my uh, my huge camera like all the way down my uh, my chest. Um, so, but it it's fine. Like it, it works. The other thing is that when you have like a a large and pretty expensive camera, it can feel a little bit uh, dangerous to mount it to the outside of your camera, like I have on my sling, uh, simply because it's just not protected at all. Like you, if you walk around with your bag over your shoulder, the camera on the outside of the bag, in a massive crowd, like, uh, like someone could take it, like, but you could also just bump it into people and bump it into like a guardrail or whatever. It doesn't really feel that safe uh, to me. But of course, if you're walking around in the woods, uh, and you want to have your camera nearby, it also relieves a, uh, a lot of space on inside your bag. Just be careful if you're out in a, <laughs> in a rainy period of the year. So the last negative thing I have to say, and it's really a small thing, is that you have to use a suitable base plate. Peak Design sends you this base plate uh, and it works uh, like a charm. I don't have anything, uh, anything against it. Um, and this capture clip, it works with uh, it works with all kinds of Arca styled 
tripods, like for instance the Manfro Manfrotto tripods. So it's quite universal, but the problem is like, for instance right now I have uh, the camera mounted on a Joby Gorilla pod and it uses this uh, weird type of base plate. So if, if I want to switch between these two uh, systems, I have to unscrew uh, the base, base plates and then mount it. Then I'm able to use the, the Gorilla part and the capture, uh, capture clip uh, separately. It, it's, it's really minor things. Like I, I highly like uh, this capture clip. I really like that you, can, uh, that you can put your camera aside without putting it inside of your bag. Uh, that's a major, uh, major plus. Like it's a really, really good tool. Some of my final thoughts. Like, after been using this capture clip for 18 months or so, I've really come accustomed to it. Like, it's a nice bit of uh, bit of tech because uh, I think it's really great that you can relieve your relieve your hands from time to time without having to stash your camera away or without having to use like a shoulder strap for it. Uh, it's, it's a really nice tool. However, it's, uh, it's not for everyone. If you're shooting with a, with a big camera, with a big lens, it can feel kind of awkward walking around with a large camera on your chest. Uh, but it's also a, a bit unsafe if you mount your camera to, to the outside of your bag. Uh, with that said, if you're thinking of uh, if you're thinking of buying like this capture clip, I think you should definitely visit one of your local camera stores. Bring your setup, bring your camera, and then try it out in different ways. See if it uh, if it suits your needs, and then like check it out. It's it's a really nice piece of kit. And that concludes today's video. I know it's a short one, uh, but it's just really nice to be back on this platform again. And of course, if you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hopefully, I will upload a video in the not so distant future. So, until I see you next, you <laughs> so nah. See you guys around. <laughs> Bye.